What's up, folks? Welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Matt here, and we have another Double Masters 2022 draft booster box open. These all tend to be pretty good, so let's see if we can keep that train rolling. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment for the giveaways. We're going to split this one between Stephen L. and Paul R. from Blissful Bash MTG. Go check him out on YouTube and uh, give him a subscribe. Paul's a good dude. Let me actually get their name tags off here. That way we can keep their cards separated and in their respective spots. 24 packs here. We're going to split it 12 apiece. Get the cover art out of the way. And I hope everybody's been doing good. Um, the Dominaria previews start soon-ish, right? Feels a little early. Kind of wondering why. But, uh, you know, wonder if it's going to be a full-blown spoiler or if it's just going to be, a, you know, some of the cards. We'll do, uh, we'll do Steven first. We're going to do 12 packs for both people. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11, 12. We'll put Paul's over here. Steven's right here. And let's go. Pack one for Steven. Going to start off with a Fiery Justice. Twin Flame, not a bad card. See if we got any borderless action. Not quite yet. And I don't know if this is true. This is very... Uh, very underground rumblings, rumors, speculation. But do you guys remember the secret <clears throat> or the priceless treasures from the OG Zendikar packs? That's where you could get, ooh, uh, Kalia the Vast to start off and a Revelark. That's where you could get like reserve list, power cards, uh, moxes, all that cool stuff in like one and every a bunch of boxes of OG Zendikar. Sanctuary. There is rumors that they may be making a comeback. I don't know if it's Dominaria or Brothers War, but there are rumors. I don't know if they would go as far as doing the power and moxes, but I could definitely see them going back to like Urza Block, giving us some of that stuff. If that's true, I'm here for it. I think that would be super duper cool. But uh, like I said, no idea if that's true. It's just been kind of kicking around in the discords and the reddits you can never know if that stuff's true or not thousand year storm this was the uh the big mythic out of ravnica right guilds of ravnica <clears throat> started off as a junk mythic and then it got really good over 20 dollars, and now it's just a rare sapperling grim flare beautiful richard kane ferguson art on this card borderless supreme verdict such a good board wipe and an Eternal Witness and a Mentor of the Meek in the same pack. Bounty of the Luxa, too. Lots of super good playable cards. Grand Arbiter Augustin the Fourth. I can't remember. Was this card originally in Guild Pact? I can't remember. Guild Pact Dissension? Dissension, maybe. Villainous Wealth. Borderless Chancery. Flicker Wisp, always a good playable card. Lava Coil in there with it. Ren and Six Emblem. Does that mean we're going to get a Ren and Six in the box? Borderless Mold Drifter. Child of Alara and the Lich Queen. Misfire Adept, Mana Leak, and a Swift Spear in the pack with all that stuff. Spitter Token. Anguish Unmaking. Rurik Tar, the Unbowed. Crackling Doom, that was a, uh, a rare back in Kamigawa block. Monastery Swiss Spear, I definitely prefer the non-foil showcase or borderless art to the foil. You lose a lot of the detail in the foil. It's just a bunch of silver. Oh, well, see, I mean, you lose so much of that background. Nice hit here for Steven, Phyrexian Altar. There we go. Bedlam Reveler, Inquisition to Kozilek, Augur Spree, and a Changeling. A little bit of bonus beef there for Steven. Fire Song and Sunspeaker, just a cool card in general. Yehenny Undying Partisan, 
Gilgari Rotfar, Manalik, and Titan Strength. Zombie. Dragon Lord Jamoka. Nice hit. Shatter Gang Brothers. Civic Saber. Fiery Fall. And Call to the Feast. Two more packs for Steven. Let's see if we can get some more uh, some more hits here for him. Hopefully we can. Oracle of Moldiah. That's a that's a good rare hit. Dark Steel Plate. Lots of people actually looking for that card actively in like the Facebook groups and uh, places like that. People are people are actively looking for it. And last pack for Steven. Come on, a little bit of bonus beef here for you. Come on, last pack magic. You got hostage taken and Ashen Rider. All right, let's slide you over. Make room for Paul, and uh, we'll open the last twelve packs here. Again, Paul, Blissful Bass, MTG. Go check them out. Tell them I sent you. Give them a thumbs up. Pack number one, the Mimeoplasm. Boar Tusk Liege. Civic Saber. Thrive. Pack two for Paul. Aether Vial, big hit there. Intet the Dreamer, Domestication, Deep Anal, and Grapple with the Past. Drop the sleeve. Let's grab another one. Foil, Borderless, Rampant Growth. A little, little extra there. Privileged Position, and Skullbriar, the Walking Grave. Bloodbraid Elf and Experiment One. Balefire Liege. Legion's Initiative. Flicker Wisp Borderless. Rampant Growth and Titan Strength. There we go. A little bit of that Force of Negation. Micaeus the Lunark and the Doorbell is on the day. Sorry, uh, sorry about the background noise, but this is a this is a living, breathing, working, operating local card store. So sometimes you do catch some of the uh, the ambiance. And there's only a handful of us that work here, so sometimes we all we all get scattered, and we need a an alert when the customers come in or leave. Alicia, who smiles at death, come ball console of allocation. Seeker of the Way Borderless and a Rift Bolty. Yeah, about six, six, seven more packs here. Harden Scales. This was the uh, top top cons of our Tarkir rare for a while. Hydroid Crisis. Boy, how the Jellyfish Hydra Beast has fallen. That card ruled standard for a long time. Unearth Jeskai Elder and a Rampant growth foil rune of the hidden realm interesting little foil there dockside extortionist nice hit for paul wilt leaf liege Durain's assistance and a deep analysis Warrior's Oath, another good mythic here. Impervious Great Worm, good in common with a devoted druid. Shadowborn Apostle, Pride Mage. Surprise, that's the first Pride Mage that we've seen so far. Warrior's Oath was a very expensive card for a while. I think it's settled the last I checked. Don't, don't hold me to this around the $20 mark. So still a pretty decent hit. Elish, or Elsha, Alicia, the Infinite. And a Lava Lanch. Go for the throat. Needs to be reprinted so we can play that in Pioneer. Oh, baby. Is that a... We got something here. A Borderless Foil Forbidden Orchard. And I wonder if these Japanese foils, like I said, because they're so subtle compared to the normal ones, if they're going to hold the premium like the... Whoa. 
that's a freaking pack. Borderless foil forbidden orchard and a borderless dockside in the same pack. Sheesh. So Paula got the pack of the box. Very nice. But uh, like the Strixhaven and Japanese set boosters, those particular foils hold a premium. If you get a alternate art demonic tutor out of that, it's worth like, you know, like a good use Honda Civic kind of thing. I don't know if it's that much, but you know what I'm saying. Last pack here, Colligan's Command. Very good card. Lots of utility. And a freaking Cavern of Souls. Sheesh. Paul closed. This box was very mid-tier until this last handful of packs, and it really pulled it up. Um, Paul, congrats, bro. And then, uh, Steven, I feel, let's see if I get, let's see if I can help you out. I feel like you got the short end of the stick, so we're going to toss you an extra pack. Out of, out of my mini boxes are, that are sitting around me. Got you a Damnation and a Balefire Liege. Maybe it's, it's not the craziest thing in the world, but maybe it helps out a little. And, uh, like I said, guys, if you haven't, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment for the giveaways. I love your faces, and we will catch you in the next one.